You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular, unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return to the dungeon. will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside, leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. <laughs> Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles.
Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. 
in the end, Han fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house? Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools, and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood.
them no quarter. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Precision and power. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. some reward for a task well performed. success. My 
mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. holds dominion, black as death. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose.
injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. wasted in the pursuit of glory and gold. A powerful blow! So, too, will resistance. and horrors I have seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. 